Greetings, Internet people. Ranting Ramsey here. How are you all doing today? Sorry I waited until the evening to post up my video today, but I wanted to wait until after I got home from work to make sure that I had the proper level of ire present for this particular video, because i got to be honest, this is one that I've been sitting on for probably about two weeks, if not a little more. Now... You may remember um, a, a few weeks ago hearing a little blurb in the news about Sarah Palin arguing with a uh, protester, and then the big controversy about this particular video is when the woman told her that she was a school teacher. Supposedly, Sarah Palin rolled her eyes and made some other sort of dismissive gesture. But that's really not the focus that I'm going to take. Yes, I have linked that exact video in the description, but there are some other things about that video that actually kind of tweaked me the wrong fucking way. And those are the things I wanted to talk about. I don't want to talk about the main issue that this video has been used for in recent weeks, which is pointing out the dismissive gestures. What I want to point out is the extremely basic and yet completely failed attempts at verbal social manipulation that good old Phelan Palin actually attempts in this video. Oh, yay, I got a text message. Pardon me while I tell this person to fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. Anyway... So, in this video, I noticed some really, like I just mentioned, some really bad failed attempts at social, or verbal social manipulation. And, um, it just, it just struck me as, as some of the, mo uh, the most potent reasons as to why I absolutely despise Phelan Palin. And, um, so what I've done is I've actually co copied down the transcript of this video, the, the pertinent parts of the actual dialogue in this video. And I've kind of got a little bit of commentary in there, so I'm actually going to read this off to you and point out exactly what about this video and the behaviors I see in it from Phelan Palin, what exactly about it sets me off. So we're going to start, well, I believe this actually starts at about one second in the video that I've linked you to. And um, what it is is it has start with the protester saying that, and this is these most of these are all exact quotes unless I say it differently. It says you swore on your precious Bible that you would uphold the interests of this state, and then when cash was waved in front of your face, you quit. Now at this point, the lady doesn't even get to finish her sentence. Phelan Palin just completely and totally cuts her off here. She goes, "Oh, you wanted me to be your governor," she says in some exasperatedly happy voice, and. Um, in the process, like I said, she cuts the woman off from clarifying her statement, and uh, the woman is again uh, interrupted by Phelan Palin when she tries to say yes and explain, so Palin just goes, I'm honored, you wanted me to be your governor, and you can tell that's clearly not what this woman was exactly trying to say. And then she finally gets her word in edgewise and says, well, I wanted you to honor your responsibilities, that's what I wanted. And then so Sarah Palin goes, so, and, and just gets, uh, in a moment of social justice, gets cut off by the protester, who says, and to be a part of the political process, instead of becoming a celebrity, so that you could, and then the camera shifts and mumbles, you can't really hear what's being said, and it picks back up with, and if that's the best you can do, then good for you. That's the best you can do. And Phelan Palin counters back with, and that's why I'm out here fighting for America is to be able to have a constitution protected so they can have free speech. Our constitution is protected. The Republicans want you to believe that the Democrats are trying to tear down the constitution, but they're not. That's the simple fact of the fucking matter. They're not. Okay? So our Constitution is protected. So that statement that she makes is just kind of like fucking facepalm. And uh, so thankfully the civilian protester pops up and says, in what way are you fighting for that? To which Sarah Palin does her, oh my god, I can't believe she called me out, no, I have to make up an answer response, where she does the whole, oh my goodness! And which is the classic, oh, I wasn't prepared for that, or that, that question. So I'm going to make an exasperated gesture to try to diminutize the importance of that question. And um, Sarah Palin continues to say, to elect candidates who understand the Constitution. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to stop there and say, so what, Palin expects herself to single-handedly be able to elect these candidates? No, that's not how the process works. Okay, she then goes on to say, to protect our military interests so that we can keep on fighting for our Constitution and protections and your freedoms, which are evidently important to you. So it's a classic Phelan Palin rambling sentence in which she makes no sense. But if you go back and look at the whole block of that, she actually never, 
answers the question. The woman says, how are you fighting to have our Constitution protected? And all she says is protect, to protect our, uh, to, uh, to elect people who understand our Constitution to protect our military interests. That's just bullshit. Grade A, USDA approved fucking bullshit. That's all it is. And um, that it's just it's just the worst answer I could have ever have thought of to that question. And apparently the protester thought of that as well, because her only answer is by using your celebrity status. She asks in question. So fucking Phelan Palin actually has the chutzpah to say, "How am I a celebrity? You're a quote unquote pundit on Fox News, which is fucking laughable." And you grab every opportunity to grab a camera and look at what I'm doing, America! Woo! And so, yes, you're a fucking celebrity by design. By design of your party, when they realized that America was not falling for you as a politician, they said, well, pull her out of the game. So you pulled yourself out of the game, and now they're putting you forth as some celebrity motherfucker who's just like, here's what you should do, America, because I'm for the real America! Let's go shoot a wolf from a helicopter! You stupid fucking bitch. Anyway... And, um, so the, Sarah Palin asked the woman, how am I a celebrity? And before the woman can even answer, she says, well, you're certainly not, and gets cut off right there, and Sarah Palin once again does her little exasperated defusal attempt thing, and goes, I'm so honored she thinks I'm a celebrity! And, uh, at that point, the protester cuts in and says, certainly not representing the state of Alaska any longer, even though, and at that point, Phelan Palin's stupid little teen slut in a bad hat cuts her off and says, like mother, like tramp, she says, she's representing the United States and makes some grand hand gesture, not realizing how foolish she just made herself sound. Because for Sarah Palin to be representing the entire United States, the entire United States, or a majority of them, would have had to elect her, which never fucking happened and never will in a sane world. Okay? So... And thankfully, how I'm going to end with was the celebrity said, or the, the celebrity, the protester at that point says, yes, I know you belong to America now, and that suits me just fine. Which is honestly one of the best things I think I've ever heard said to Sarah Palin, because it obviously just glanced right off the fucking stainless steel that Sarah Palin uses for a skull, which is why facts never seem to get in there, because apparently facts won't permeate steel. So... Anyway, the whole point of everything I just read there, do you see what I'm talking about? The failed attempts at deflection, the um, failed social manipulation to make it seem like the woman's being more gracious to her than she really is. All of this just lame, attempted verbal acrobatics that just come off as vain and unintelligent. It just absolutely fucking blows my mind. So really, I hope you watch the video and see what it is that I see in it. Because, like I said, I've been sitting on this for so long because I've really been chewing it over in my mind. It's no fucking mystery that I absolutely despise Phelan Palin. I think she is the worst thing ever in the history of American politics to happen to a broken fucking system. And I'm certainly, certainly living in absolute fucking fear that she will be on the presidential ticket in 2012. And I tell you, if she is, somebody needs to step up and go Lee Harvey, because that's just unacceptable. So, that's pretty much what I have to say. Re or watch the video. I'll include the little transcript here in the description. Make up your own mind, but in my personal opinion, it is obvious that it's a bunch of failed attempted social manipulation on a very base level that would make even the most greenhorn psychology student laugh their ass off. That's pretty much what I have to say about Phelan Palin this time around. Let me know what you think. Bring it on. I'm Ranting Ramsey. That is all. Hey, did you get all that, man?